Traveling on a budget can be a challenge. If we could do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> we made it. Welcome to American Travels. I'm Carrie. I'm Dave. We travel the world looking for fun and new adventures, making friends along the way. We are the cast and the crew and do all the filming ourselves, just the two of us. Sometimes it's a real challenge, but we love it. We've got a bunch of great stops to show you. Our purpose is to show awesome destinations and share our new adventures. We'll give some tips on how to budget your trip. Along with some history and culture of each destination. So come join us on American Travelers. And another stop on Nevis is the Four Seasons. This is the premier resort on this island. The Four Seasons Resort. When driving into this garden-like setting, you'll feel anxious to see what's next. The Four Seasons Resort sits on 350 acres of beautiful island paradise. If you're in the golf, then play here at the pristine 18-hole golf course. The resort has 180 rooms, 17 suites, plus several private homes available through the resort. If that's not enough, you have five gorgeous swimming pools, 10 tennis courts, four restaurants, and an exquisite spa and fitness center. Now that's living large. Inside, you'll relax and enjoy hanging out in the lobby area. The overhead fans keep the temperature very comfortable. As far as the staff goes, making new friends is easy. How you doing? What's your name? All of the staff seem so friendly and ready to help you enjoy your vacation that you may want to bring them home with you. For breakfast, check out the Neve restaurant and sample the Fresh Fruit Smoothie Station or the Caribbean Lobster Eggs Benedict. The library bar looks so luxurious with the, all the exotic wood and it's a great place to get educated about rum cocktails. For family entertainment, the resort provides a little local flavor, so we decided to stop and take it in. We have a really nice little um, craft made from coconut shell. What does it look like to you? What does this look like? Very tasty. Oh, he is good. Turns out coconuts are used for many decorative pieces and some practical ones like using the branches for a broom. And coconut shells are used in making burlap bags like these. During your day of swimming, the Cabana restaurant is a nice spot to grab lunch. We're having the ice cream first so we don't miss it. There's a wood-fired pizza oven and dishes like ahi tuna tacos. And don't miss their frozen fruit kebabs for a treat. Another must-see is Mango, an open-air restaurant featuring 101 rum cocktails. Scuba lessons are very popular here. For a unique diving experience, the Four Seasons offers a program called Dive and Dine. You go out with a dive master in the morning, bring back your lobster, then in the evening you have a private chef teaching you the art of a beach barbecue. Just imagine the taste of a lobster while watching a majestic sunset on the beach. The beach, I must say, is probably one of the most beautiful beaches on the island. The beach here is called Penny Beach, and it's far from crowded. The ocean water is nice and warm. A lot of water activities like boating, stand-up water paddling, kayaking, scuba diving, and snorkeling. All this with a great view of St. Kitts in the background. We're going to go snorkeling here at the Four Seasons. JR is going to take us out and show us where the good snorkeling spots are. We're swimming about 100 yards to a coral reef. When we get out there, the camera stopped working, so I swim back to the shore, fix the camera, then swim back to the reef. By then, I'm exhausted as we came back from climbing 3,000 feet at Nevis Peak, so I hand the camera to Carrie. That's recording when it's turned red. I take the camera, and I realize it's all up to me to get some great footage. I have a death grip on this thing, as I know if I drop it, I won't be able to find it. I'm seeing a lot of really exotic fish. Wow, this is awesome! Are you making a video for you? No. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to get the fish. Oh, you're getting you. 
Turned the wrong way off there. Oh no! Oh well, now that I have the camera aimed in the right direction, look what I'm seeing! Must have had a blonde moment. Back on land, we take a golf cart along these nicely laid pathways to see one of the rooms. The grounds are well manicured and have a lot of tropical flowers and trees for eye candy. The rooms are very spacious and have comfortable chairs and a large high-end sofa. The beds look so inviting, I might just jump on there. Granite countertops, double sinks, deep bathtub, separate shower. What more could you ask for? And now, a view from the balcony. The Four Seasons Resort. What a great place to stay on Nevis. Thanks for watching American Travelers.